Crazy, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> We heard that deadlift number yesterday when we had the fight. I know, like... <laughs> hey, didn't get out? I know, thank you. People on Twitter were like, at AA Boston, what's your number? I was like, don't even worry about it. <laughs> we were like, start... Day two from day one. What's what's just kind of the biggest... You know, y'all have two a day busy day. What do you kind of find out on Monday here? Yeah, I think just the way we come back after having a long day yesterday, being able to add plays in and how we respond to that. I think we did pretty good. We went up and down against each other, against the guys, and the energy was there. We had great passes, great team efforts. So it was a great day. Can you tell from the newcomers kind of who's physically up for this, from that, just from a conditioning and a pace standpoint? Yeah, I think everyone, honestly. I think, you know, when you come into training camp, you know that you want to be at your best. And so everyone, especially people, they came from overseas. Um, um, even the rookies that came in, you know, them just getting straight from college. I mean, I think it helps a lot because they're just able to continue that stamina, that pace. And so everyone looks really good. Can you talk about Candace Parker's retirement? I saw your tweet and I know how much she means to you. Yeah, I mean, I got out of training camp and I was like, wait, what happened? I was like, when did this, what happened? But I mean, Candace Parker has always been someone that I consider a role model. I think she's the reason that I've just loved basketball so much because at her size, being able to do what she does, handle the ball the way she does, shoot the ball the way she does, like someone that's tall growing up, wanting to continue in the sport. I mean, she was just a major piece to me. A year ago, I know having no real off season was kind of a challenge for you to go right from college into camp. Have you given Caitlin and the other rookies any advice on how to kind of manage that? Because on one hand, conditioning's great. On the other hand, the body needs the rest. Too. Yeah, we've talked to them, especially at the beginning, just about how like your body is going to tell you, and honestly, just embrace that. I know that at some point, it's you're going to feel it. Some people feel it earlier. Some people feel it later on. I told them, for me, I felt it really after All Star, and that's when I felt like I kind of went through my little slump, and so. So honestly, just be ready. But at the same time, like we have your back, like we know what you're capable of. And if your body's telling you, hey, it's not my not my day, then you you take it easy. What are the biggest differences you've noticed year one to year two so far, just both on and off the court? Yeah, for, uh, for me, I think it's just my ability to just step into that leadership role, that being a more a better communicator uh, on and off the court. And off the court, I think, I mean, I don't know yet. I'm still trying to, I need to start wandering. Indianapolis. So if you guys have spots, I, I have to start. I can't I come back from practice. I'm like in my bed. I'm like, dang, where'd the time go? So I have to start wandering. I'm going to get my toes done tomorrow, but I need more. What's different about Liz to you this season and how that front court partnership will mesh around Caitlin? Yeah, I, I told Liz before we even got to training camp that, you know, like our goal is to be that best post duo. I mean, I heard Camilla talking about her and Angel rebound. I said to Liz, I said, girl, listen, they are coming. And so I think just being able to see just her ability to continue to shoot the ball, make plays, attack from the perimeter, have that pull up jumper, and also be able to get down low and bang. I think sometimes, you know, with Liz playing at the four, they're smaller fours. And so she's able to post them up really um, good, get to score. And so I'm really excited about what we can do. And with Caitlin too, just adding her in, I think you guys can see it when you guys come in and watch practice, Caitlin's ability to pass that ball, Caitlin's ability to get it into the post um, at the right angle and so it's going to be really good for us to be we know that hey we run Caitlin's going to find us and we got to make the right play is the versatility of this lineup just as important as the depth because you've got you've got some four fives and two threes you got a lot of girls that can go out there and play a lot of a, a lot of different spots on the floor yes and that's definitely going to help us just because you know, you want to be able to put people in different positions because there's going to be a mismatch, whether that's in the post, whether that's in the guard, defensively, offensively. And so just being able to have so many people that are great at their positions and able to do multiple things at different positions only going to help us, especially moving forward in the season. You spent some time in the offseason doing this and analyzing the game <laughs> with a different visual. Do you see it now when you're in it a little different than you maybe did before spending some time in a TV setting? I feel like I just, it just gets clearer. I feel like before that's why I got into being an analyst because of how I saw the game and so being able to be on both sides like I understand I, I know what all you guys are thinking right now actually <laughs> and so it's just I think I just continue to have just more patience I feel like understanding like okay this is happening this happened I need to communicate this way do you feel the excitement in the city surrounding the sports scene right now oh absolutely really cool. absolutely it's super exciting and I think it's just like we're really going to feel it once the games start because you hear about the ticket sales, you hear about the numbers going up, and that's that's special. You hear about when we're on the road and just people going moving to different arenas. Like there's just so much energy around the fever, around the WNBA right now, and I think that's just special because that's what we need for the game. Did it become hard to be objective analyst when South Carolina was? Oh, my gosh. I thought they were going to fire me. I thought they were going to fire me. They were like, Aaliyah, thank you for your time. You cannot come back. But I think for the most part, I did good. It was just when they won, I was like – Get me off air. This is not my job anymore. <laughs>